What's going on guys? It's Awana Turtle and today we have another Yu-Gi-Oh opening. We're opening more of the Lost um, Arena of the Lost Souls Speed Duel set. Uh, to be honest, so far this set feels super weak. It feels like they're starting a new Yu-Gi-Oh game. So they're starting exactly how they started the original Yu-Gi-Oh game with the Legend of Blue Eyes set, which was just so weak. Uh, part of a couple of very select cards and yeah, so this feels very similar to that um, But there are a couple of good hits that we're looking for namely like the sphere Karibo and call the haunted uh, So let's see if we can't pull any of those All right guys, let's do this see if we can't pull really anything good um, So far the first half of this box was really weak. We did get a couple of the character cards, which was cool uh, but even those I, I, I'm wondering if as the uh, new game continues to expand essentially like the power creep will be will happen very quickly like look at this 1650 <laughs> what is that uh, so yeah not too not too crazy about this set so far but uh, also we weren't we weren't crazy about infinity chasers and we ended it with a huge bang uh, so maybe this thing will follow a similar trend we have a white elephant's gift. Let's see. You select one face up monster you control in the graveyard. Draw two cards. Hmm. It's actually interesting. Ooh, okay. Finally, we have a ultra rare Arcana Knight Joker. And 3800, very strong. Uh, so you need all three of the uh, Queen, Jack, and King's Knight. And you don't want to return. When a spell trap card or monster effect is activated, the target to the face up. Um, hmm, interesting. Pretty cool card. Uh, very um, much to do with the. I think Yugi used this. And uh, so, actually, I there's a lot of uh, fuse cards. I, I thought maybe in Duel Links they changed like the rules for polymerization. However, that one said they still need to fuse all of those. Um, fusion summon. And I haven't seen the polymerization card yet. So finally we did get a ultra rare. I think in the first half we only got a single super rare. However, we did get two uh, the character cards. All right, wind breaking, flame bridge, something, and then conscription. And because I, I think the first game that I ever, the video game that I played, uh, I think it was for PlayStation 2 or something, maybe PlayStation 1, I can't remember. Uh, but it was kind of weird because all you, you could almost just uh, fuse any monsters together and they would always fuse and it was almost, it wasn't random, but almost felt random. Uh, ooh, alright, so do we, have, we do have another skill card. Ooh, looks like it's Yami. Very cool, Yami Yugi skill card. That is very nice. See what he does later on. So we have a Decayed Commander, Zombie Dragon, or Dragon Zombie, Mystic Horseman, and then here he is, Royal Flush. Very cool. Oh, that's what it says on the um, the box. I was always confused about why I said a Royal Flush. All right, once per turn, if you control a Queen's Knight, you can pay 1,000 life points to normal summon King's Knight in addition to your normal summon set. Uh, King's Knight and Jack's Knight you control cannot attack directly the turn to use this skill so if you have the queen it will automatically put bring out the king um, just to get you closer to summoning arcana uh, but yeah I don't remember what the was it called dark duel stories no I don't think so. that was the Game Boy one uh, I think it was called forbidden memories and I guess like even even the Game Boy game was slightly different although I did really like how the Game Boy game worked and all right, how do I open this Sorry guys.
Okay, that was the most difficult time I've ever had trying to open a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. All right, we have a Limit Impulse, Possess Dark Soul, a D Spell, and then a Zombie Dragon Zombie, and wasn't even anything good inside. Um, so yeah, the um, the Yu-Gi-Oh the rules seem to be ever fluid, uh, and in um, Forbidden Memories it was very strange. However, I can't remember what cards it came with. I feel like it was it came with like Metal Morph, I think maybe. Magical Ghost, Great Mammoth of Gold Swine, and then Block Attack. Where the Dark Duel stories, I think that's is that the Game Boy one? That one I enjoyed. The main thing that was cool there was like the type. Uh, they actually, certain types are basically, it would always win battles. Ooh, there's that Jackson Knight. Um, with uh, other ones, so I think like water would defeat fire, fire would, I don't know, probably like, wind or something. Wind would always beat earth and something like that and then uh even so uh let's see i think darkness always beat light light always beat dream and then dream always beat darkness so it kind of i felt like there was a good amount of strategy in there although i don't think you could uh face other people i think it was just kind of like who is this a hollow oh okay the senju of a thousand hands i think it's the ritual stuff when you play normal summon add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand actually this is a pretty cool card Whenever there's uh, new ritual stuff, it makes him a little bit more viable again. Uh, so yeah, that was a really cool mechanic that they had in that Game Boy game, which I really liked. And let's see, we have Shield and Sword, Wicked Breaking, Harpy's Pet Dragon. Ooh, oh, here's all the, here's another Ultra. So it's all on the other side of the box. Pay 500 life points, then target one face-up spell trap card in the field. Destroy that target. Very nice. And I think their rituals worked a little bit different. So I like to summon the uh, whatever the ritual for the Dark Magician. I think you needed a very specific card and then you needed to tribute summon more stuff. Queen's Knight. Uh, so I think to summon, was it the Magician of Chaos? Black, Black, Black Magician of Chaos or something? Uh, you needed to summon the Dark Magician, which required two offerings. So ironically, they follow that rule. And then you need to summon, sacrifice two more things in addition to the Dark Magician to bring out the, whatever his name is. All right, let's see, Zombie Tiger, where in the, then when they released the cards, it was based on like level, Shallow Grave, and then Great Mammoth Gold Swine. So definitely a step up from our first half of the box. Uh, I think it was just because those uh, skill cards felt very underwhelming for this Royal Flush one. Uh, I'm actually not sure if it's better, but it feels cooler <laughs> than just like a field card, basically. And we do have some other other cool hits. Alright. Armored Zombie. Magicians Unite. Magical Ghost. And then Conscription again. Actually, if I recall correctly, I think the Call of the Haunted was a blue card, so I'm not sure what character that's for. We already had one uh, card that was, I can't remember his name, but uh, that was kind of like the graveyard, or the zombie one. Armored Zombie, and then a Sword and Sword and Shield. Alright, we got two more packs left, however, we did get a good number of hits, so maybe we won't get anything else. All right, Amazon Spy, Queen's Knight, Wasteland, and then, ooh, another super rare King of the Skull Servants. Original attack of this card is combined number of King of the Skull Servants and Skull Servant in your graveyard times a thousand. When this card is destroyed in battle and sent to the graveyard, you can banish one other King of the Servants to, from your graveyard. Whoa, you can banish one other of those cards from your graveyard to special summon this card. Wow, and it's only level 1? That card's really good. Sounds like it would be really annoying to deal with them over and over again. King of the Skull Servant. I'm actually not familiar. I wonder if that's new to... Unique to Speed Duel. So, okay. So now this whole zombie thing is uh, feeling more and more viable. 
For the last pack, we got a Harpy's Pet Dragon, Magician's Unite, <laughs> Skull Servant. Oh, I guess you have to use this guy, though. Oh, so he does have a purpose, at least. And then White Elephant's Gift. And, uh... Actually, this card's pretty good, too. Um, oh, no, you have to send him to the graveyard. All right, never mind. Uh, so, there you guys have it for our first box of Speed Duel. The second half was much stronger, where we had a ultra-rare fusion of the Arcana... Uh, Knight Joker, a Royal Flush, the Yugi skill card, the card that can tutor up any ritual card, a Twister, as well as this Skull Servant, King of the Skull Servants, very nice card. And uh, so yeah, quite a, bit, quite a bit better than the first half of the box. And uh, we'll give the Speed Duel, we'll give it an honest, honest, uh, honest chance to, to wow us. And uh, I would say this was okay, uh, or average, let's go with. Uh, so if you did enjoy this content guys do me a favor hit that like button it kind of lets me know what kind of uh, gauge the interests of the audience uh, as well as let me know in a comment below what you want to see if you, there's any other boxes that you're really interested in seeing um, if you're kind of new to the channel welcome we do a lot of Pokemon content starting to do some more Yu-Gi-Oh and do occasionally do some Magic the Gathering um, and uh, so definitely subscribe if you're new uh, follow me on Instagram at I want a turtle and uh, lastly um, yeah, we'll have more of this to come in the near future, guys. I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.